we have um, policy and direction, we have civil society initiatives, data systems and data coordination, and corporate services. We also have quite a sizable um, science and technology element, including a laboratory. In addition to these main programs, we have a, a number of thematic um, programs, for example, the Missing Migrants and Refugee Program, but we also have uh, a number of country programs, for example, the Iraq Program or the MENA Program. Those programs are doing the work the day-to-day -day work of the ICMP and what we are doing is providing the support services that enable that program work to take place. Now within the corporate services department there are uh, a number of different units. We have a human resources unit and that is taking care of the approximately 150 staff that we have in the headquarters and in the thematic programs and the country programs. We also have uh, finance, we have budget, uh, we have logistics, and for us another very important area is procurement. And my role as the Director of Corporate Services is to make sure that all those support services are implemented and are meeting the needs of the organisation. We have put in place um, a robust well, regulatory framework covering all the key areas of finance administration and human resources. Uh, we have ensured that we have professionalized the staff who are working for us. When we, we give, we're recruiting people with significant experience uh, working in global challenging environments. We are providing those staff with the necessary training where it's applicable uh, and we are you know constantly exchanging ideas so that so that we remain so we're remaining relevant uh, and following uh, best practices. Um, I think for me there's five things which I would say you have to get right in order to do this well from a mission support um, perspective. The first one is planning. Good planning is essential. Uh, and advanced planning of all our operations and, and field engagements is, is particularly important. Coordination is also very important between the headquarters and the field, particularly the country programs uh, and the thematic programs. We also need to have clear roles and responsibilities and so the staff know exactly what they're doing, uh, where they're responsibilities extend to and so you don't get duplication and you can maximize your your synergies. You also need to have excellent communication um, and ensure that there are good internal and external communication channels so staff know exactly uh, what is expected of them and we are able to communicate with donors on so we can meet their expectations and meet their reporting requirements. And then the last thing for me is that you need to have flexibility. So when you are, you know, when you're operating, you are following a regulatory framework, but you have the ability to adapt to the different uh, environments in which you're working. That, that can be a real um, challenge. But if you get those five key elements right, and you've got the right staff, and you've got a solid structure in place, uh, there is no reason why this um, organisation cannot continue to grow and become stronger.